This is episode 37 of our Chin Maya Algebra series. And for this video, we are given that x is equal to pq over p plus q. And we're looking for the value of x squared over the quantity x minus p times x minus q. If you've watched a previous episode that we had, we've uh, already encountered something that comes uh, in this form. So we'll just use that process and uh, solve this equation in a similar manner. What we'll do here is to take the reciprocal of both sides for the given equation to get 1 over x is equal to p plus q over pq. Now this step is good because we can write p plus q all over pq as p over pq plus q over pq. And then we can cancel out common terms from the two expressions to get 1 over x to be equal to 1 over p plus 1 over q. So we'll save this for now and we'll go back to this one later uh, when we uh, have done something with the required now, this required expression can be written as x times x minus p times x over x minus q. Now, if we divide the numerator and denominator by x, we get here x over x over x over x minus p over x times, we do the same to the second factor to get at x over x minus or over x over x minus q over x. Now we simplify this x over x here. These are just equal to 1. So our expression here becomes 1 over 1 minus p over x times 1 over 1 minus q over x. Now we go back to what we obtained earlier. This one. So we, we look at that 1 over x is equal to 1 over p plus 1 over q. To get this p over x here, we can multiply both sides of this equation by p to get px is equal to p times 1 over p, that's 1, plus p times 1 over q, that will be p over q. Which means that 1 minus p over x is equal to 1 minus 1 plus p over q, which is negative p over q. So this thing here is equal to negative p over q. We should do the same with uh, the second expression. So what we will do to get that is to, instead of multiplying by p, we multiply by q. So if we multiply this one by q, we get q over x is equal to q times 1 over p, that would be q over p, plus q times 1 over q, that would be 1. Which means that 1 minus q over x is equal to 1 minus q over p plus 1, or negative q over p. Therefore, this second expression here is just negative q over p. And so, this thing here becomes 1 over negative p over q times 1 over negative q over p. Note that these two denominators here are reciprocals of each other. So, if we multiply them, we just get 1 which means that this expression is equivalent to 1 over 1, or simply 1. Therefore, this big expression here, which is this one as well, is equal to 1. And that's our final answer. So just to recap, what we did here is to rewrite this as 1 over x equals 1 over p plus 1 over q, and then rewrite this by 
dividing uh, the numerator and denominator by x. I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more content. Bye-bye!